हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर क्लास एलेवन स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर सेवन सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल एंड रिजिट बॉडी इन टूडेज क्लास अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑन दिस चैप्टर वी ऑलरेडी सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम इन द लास्ट सेशन लेट एस सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन इज ए डिस्क ऑफ मास टू हंड्रेड के जी एंड रेडियस फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर दिस डिस्क इज रोटेटिंग एट द सेंटर ऑफ center at the rate of 480 rpm find work done in bringing the disc to rest if the disc is stopped in 11 rotations calculate retarding torque acting on the disc so here they had given a disc so disc mass is given mass first we can write on the givens mass is 200 kg and radius is 50 cm 50 cm means it is equal to 0. 5 meter it is rotating at the rate of 480 rpm so 480 rpm here it is given in terms of revolution per minute so we can write rotational speed means omega omega is given 480 rpm so 480 rpm can be written as 480 into revolution so one revolution equal to 2 pi radian revolution per means divided by minute one minute equal to 60 seconds now we can convert into radian per second so this is the value of omega the work done in bringing the disk to rest so we have to do certain work to bring that disk at rest if the disk is stopped in 11 revolutions calculate retarding torque acting on the disk so we have to find a torque here right and also we have to find work done so we know the formula for work done and torque so torque is given by the equation tau equal to we can write it as i alpha or one more equation we have tau equal to r cross f but these two equations are not suitable because you can observe the givens here moment of inertia is not given alpha is not given force is not given so these are not much suitable so we go for any other equations uh, for example we already know that work done is given by generally f dot s this is for a linear motion so for rotational motion we can change this, this equation as w equal to in place of force we can write tau in place of theta we can in place of s we can write theta so this is for rotational motion so we can write it here it as tau equal to w divided by theta so this equation we can use because here theta is given number of revolutions they had given 11 rotations here it is given 11 rotation so we can write theta equal to 11 rotations so one rotation equal to how many radians so 2 pi radian so we can write 11 into 2 pi radian is it clear so theta is given and work done we have to find so easily we can calculate torque here so this equation we can use here now come to the work done so work done is given by the equation work done is equal to change in rotational kinetic energy right so work done is equal to change in rotational kinetic energy because the disk is rotating so work done is equal to energy means here it has kinetic energy so we can use this equation change in rotational kinetic energy how to write change in rotational kinetic energy so we can write final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy this equation you can use here so what is the equation for rotational kinetic energy we know that rotational kinetic energy is generally given by the formula k equal to half i omega square so this equation we can use here for final kinetic energy we can write it here it as half i keep as it is final means omega f square is it clear half i omega square minus half i 
omega i square initial speed and final speed or we can write 1 by 2 into i is common so remaining is omega f square minus omega i square so this equation you can use here to find work done so in this problem we have to calculate work done as well as a torque i had given these two equations now you can use these two equations to find work done and torque so now substitute the value first we go for work done w equal to 1 by 2 keep as it is into so i value is not given here you can observe moment of inertia is not given but we know that moment of inertia for disc is given moment of inertia of disc is given by the equation i equal to m r square divided by 2 in a tabular column in theoretical classes you already studied this equation moment of inertia of the disc is i equal to m r square divided by 2 so that value you can substitute here 1 by 2 into in place of i you can write m r square divided by 2 into final value minus initial value so here Finally, the disk will come to rest. So, we can write it as 0 minus its initial value they had given. Initial value is how much? 480 into 2 pi divided by 60. Is it clear? So, calculate all these value. W equal to M R square. M value is given 200. R value is 0 0.5 square divided by 4 into minus of 480 into 2 pi divided by 60. Calculating all these value, we will get the final answer. After calculating, directly I am going to write the answer. The answer is 31582.7 joules. You can check the answer here. After calculating, you will get this answer 31582.7 joules. Then go for torque here. So, torque is given by the formula tau equal to W divided by theta. So, W is 31582.7 divided by theta is how much? 11 rotations. So, 11 rotation but for one rotation how many radian? 2 pi radian. So, after calculating all these value we will get the final answer as 457 and the sign it is Newton meter. So, torque is 457 Newton meter and work done is 31582.7 joules. Next question. The angular speed of a motor wheel is inverse from 1200 rpm to 3120 rpm. In 16 seconds, what is its angular acceleration assuming that it is in the uniform motion? The angular speed of the motor wheel. So, they had given angular speed of the motor wheel. Initially, it has 1200. Finally, the uh, speed becomes 3120. So, we can write speed means angular velocity is denoted by omega. Initial means omega i. Omega i value is 1200 rpm. And finally, the velocity becomes omega f equal to 3120 rpm. And time is given 16 seconds. We have to find acceleration. It is denoted by alpha. So, first we have to convert rpm into radian per second. So, 1200 into 2 pi divided by 60. And here 3120 into 2 pi divided by 60. After calculating, we can write 1200 into 2 divided by 60, we will get 40 pi, keep as it is 40 pi radian. And here it is 3120 into 2 divided by 60, we will get 104 pi radian. Or you can calculate completely, there is no problem. So now we go for alpha. What is the formula for alpha? Angular acceleration is given by rate of change of angular velocity so omega f minus omega i divided by t so everything is given calculate here omega f is 104 pi omega i is 40 pi divided by time they had given 16 seconds 
After calculating, we will get the answer 4 pi radian per second square. So, this is the value of alpha or else you can calculate 4 into 3.142. Is it clear? So, this is the value of alpha or angular acceleration. Next question. The speed of heat engine increases from 420 rpm to 6360 rpm in 18 seconds. Calculate angular acceleration, angular displacement and the number of revolutions does it make in this period of time. A, B and C all these three questions we have to solve. Before that you go for the given. So the givens are the speed of the heat engine. Engine means it is rotating. So we can take angular velocity omega i is equal to initially the speed is 420 rpm. Then its speed increases to omega f equal to 6360 rpm. And time is given 18 seconds. We have to find the first question is angular acceleration denoted by alpha. And second question is angular displacement denoted by theta. And third question, number of revolutions denoted by capital N. Now we can solve one by one. Yes, first we go for question A. Alpha is equal to, we have the equation, rate of change of angular velocity is called angular acceleration. Using this equation, we can calculate alpha value. So alpha equal to, so omega f is given how much here? 420 rpm so we can write here it as 420 into 2 pi divided by 60 and here it is 6360 into 2 pi divided by 60 so first we have to write in terms of radian per second so after calculating we will get the answer 43.988 radian per second so this is the value of omega i similarly we go for second one 6360 into 2 pi divided by 60. We will get 666.104 radian per second. Now you can substitute the values in place of omega f. We can write 666.104 minus 43.988 divided by time is given 18 second. So we will get the answer alpha equal to 34.54 radian per second square. So, this is the value of alpha. Then second question, we have to find theta here. Angular displacement. So, now we can use equations of motion. For example, in a linear motion, we can use S equal to ut plus half at square. V square equal to u square plus 2as or V equal to u plus at. So, those equations for linear motion. Now, similarly, we go for rotational motion. In a rotational motion, we have the formula. So here, S equal to ut plus half at square. This equation can be written as, in place of S, we can write theta is equal to omega i t plus half alpha t square. So, this is for rotational motion. You can use this equation and find the value of theta. Theta equal to omega i is given 43.988 into time is given 18 second that is omega i into t plus half into alpha we already calculated and the value is 34.54 into t square means 18 square. So calculating this value we will get the final answer 203 sorry 2000 34 into pi radian. So, this is the value of theta or you can substitute the value of pi, you will get the answer. This is B quotient. Then come to the C quotient here. Number of revolutions. Number of revolution, it is given by the equation n equal to theta divided by 2 pi. This equation we have to use here. Number of revolutions completed in the given time period. So, theta divided by 2 pi, theta we got 200, sorry, 2034 pi divided by 2 pi, pi will get cancelled. So, we will get number of revolution is equal to 1017. So, these are number of rotations or number of revolutions. The next question, a 20 centimeter diameter grinding wheel rotates at 
at 2000 rpm. Calculate its angular velocity, what is linear speed of the speck of dust on the edge of the wheel. So first we go for the given. So grinding wheel they had given. Its diameter is equal to 20 centimeter. So radius will be half of diameter. So we can write 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter means 0 0.1 meter. And this grinding wheel is rotating with velocity omega equal to 2000 revolution per minute. So 2000 revolution means we can write 2000 into 2 pi divided by 60. After calculating we will get the answer 209.46 radian per second. This is angular speed or angular velocity. Then we have to find linear speed. Linear speed is denoted by V. So, we know the relation between linear and angular velocity that is V equal to R omega. Substitute the value R is given 0 0.1, omega is given 209.46. So, calculating this value we will get the final answer 20.94 meter per second. So, this is linear velocity of the grinding wheel. Then, a pulley 0.5 meter in diameter makes 300 revolution per minute. What is linear speed of the belt if there is no slipping? So first we go for the given. So diameter is given d equal to 0.5 meter. Radius means half of diameter 0.25 meter. It completes or it is making 300 revolution. So omega equal to 300 rpm. What is the linear speed means V we have to calculate is the direct question very easy V equal to R omega R is given 0.25 omega is given 300 rpm so 300 rpm means 300 into 2 pi divided by 60 so 300 into 2 pi by 60 means we will get 31.42 radian per second substitute here 0.25 into 31.42 so we will get the answer v equal to 7.855 meter per second so this is linear velocity of the given belt